Hey guys, where did HP Reverb G2 get it really wrong with the headset speakers? Because at first glance, they look super slick. They have such a sexy design, of course, done by Valve. And there's a lot of technologically advanced stuff in there. First of all, the VR headset doesn't produce any outside noise, which is not going to disturb anyone when you're in VR, regardless if there are other people around you. And secondly, they have a plug and play system, which enables you to just screw off the speakers and then just screw them back on. There are no cables of any kind to have to connect or disconnect, which again is pretty awesome. But let's address the areas where they really got it wrong so that they can fix it with a software update or address these issues in a future VR headset. Despite the sexy looks and the advanced technological feat on the headset speakers of the HP Reverb G2, there's some serious issue here that we have to address that I'm personally really not happy with. I had mentioned in a previous video that there is some crackling issues that occur when you set the volume higher than 65 or above. HP actually, to my surprise, took the initiative to send me a brand new pair of speakers, both for the right and the left, to see whether there would be any differences with the new pair. But after installing the second batch of headphones on my HP Reverb G2, it seems that the issue is actually coming from the connector itself. This is because I noticed that after I fiddled around with the screw a little bit more and I just tighten it a bit more, then the issue seems to go away, even though when I do crank up the volume above 65 or 70, well, it seems to occur because I have to move the speakers up and down, which again is going to untighten the screw at that area. So the only way it seems to be able to rectify the issue is first of all to follow the guidelines from the previous video with the link in the description below the like button and also by making sure I don't crack up the volume higher than 65. I really hope that this could be addressed via a software update because honestly speaking, having to have the volume lower than 65 really dampens my immersion in VR and the fact that there's crackling going on, I really wouldn't be a happy camper if I had spent hundreds of dollars on a VR device having this issue occurring. The other area that I believe HP really missed the mark here is the ability to plug in headphones onto the actual VR device itself. So this limits people like myself, for example, to have to use wired earbuds or headphones and let's not forget that most of us don't do sims. Most of us actually use apps like Half-Life Alex or Population One or do a lot of VR fitness, which means we're standing up about three meters away from our computer, crouching a lot, picking things up and all these kind of movements with our VR headset. So when we're standing so far away from our computer, that means we have to use extended cables, which again hinders our immersion in VR and also makes it unsafe. If you have been using Bluetooth headphones with your HP Reverb G2 connected to your computer, please let us know if you had any issues of any kind in the comments below. So please, HP, as much as the VR headset and the headphone speakers look super sexy and there's tons of advanced technology in there, we really need you to address these as soon as possible.